Previously on Sailing Catalpa, we explore Stanley Island and see some pretty awesome caves with some Aboriginal artwork. So we have just arrived at Shelbourne Bay. Um, we've come from Portland Roads today, which was about 60 nautical miles. Um, and I'm not sure if I filmed when we got there. So the day before, I think was around the same when there's about 60 nautical miles as well. Um, and I can't remember where we came from. But we've had a couple of good days of sailing. Uh, we stopped here for the night and tomorrow we're going to try and get to the top. So we're going to be really close to Cape York. It's 76 nautical miles away. So as long as this, the wind stays nice and strong like it has been, um, we should get there in plenty of time. And then we're at the tip of Australia. That's pretty exciting. Um, I think Bella's getting dinner ready for us. So it's our anniversary today. We've been married for 13 years and um, we're just going down to have dinner at a very fancy restaurant. So it's a lovely evening. You still love me baby? Yeah, every day. <laughs> more and more. Oh, I love you, Marty. Not open. So we left Shelbourne Bay this morning, about five o'clock, um, and we've headed. We're heading up to the top of Australia to Albany Island today, which is a big leg. It's about 75 nautical miles, and um, we got a boat behind us. And I just had a look in the binoculars, and it turns out it's a submarine. It's not every day you sail past this submarine. It was pretty cool. Um, so yesterday we were planning on getting to Albany Island, which is right up the top of Australia. Um, but we decided to pull into Turtle or the passage near Turtle Head Island which was 10 nautical miles away from our destination. Uh, the reason, because up through the passage at Albany Island, there's really strong tidal current. So the tide was, we were just gonna be pushing it on borderline to get there before the tide turned. And because it's like a four and a half knot current, um, we kind of didn't want to get stuck in that at four o'clock in the afternoon, so. We decided to come into this anchorage, which was down a passage, which I don't know the name of. Um, and it was really still and out of the wind and it was we had a really good night's sleep. So it's about eight o'clock and we're heading off this morning. It's 10 nautical miles up to the top of the tip, or 15 nautical miles. It's about 20 nautical miles to where we're gonna stop at Cape York. Uh, and that is the furthest point north of Australia. So we're all a bit excited that we've gotten this far at all. We don't know what the weather's doing today. I've got a forecast from three days ago, but we haven't had internet. And I think it says 15 to 20 knots. So once we get out of the passage, we'll see what the weather's doing. There's a crocodile! Here the kids are having a look. And I will go into the wild on my own. So we just saw our first crocodile over on the bank. That was a bit exciting. And he went into the water and hopefully I got it on camera, but it's really hard to zoom in. Uh, it goes all wobbly. So hopefully there's something there. We left the Escape River uh, around nine o'clock. Just on a, the start of the flooding tide towards Albany Passage. The reason being is we want to be at the Albany Passage for the flood tide, which runs with this sort of wind. It's actually backed off today. We've got about 20 knots, so but with the wind and the current going the same direction, you, you have a tidal stream of like five knots. And to predict this in this area, this is one of the hardest 
spots in the world to predict the tidal flow around the top of Australia where we are. So you can be two and a half hours either side of a high or low and it still may or may not have swung. So we were nearly going to head in last night but it's just too close. If I, it, it should have been right but if anything wasn't we would have been against the passage that had five knots of current running at us. So we chose to do it this morning. So we're on our way to Albany Passage. So we should be there probably about two and a half hours into the flooding tide, which should give us five knots of flow, plus our 20 knots of wind behind us. It should make for a nice little passage up to the top of Australia. So just coming and we're about to go through Albany Passage, the very top of Australia, between the mainland and Albany Island. So we should be going with the current. We've timed it so that the, so that the tide's turned, so it's coming in. And that should help because usually there's about a four and a half knot current that goes with whichever way the tide's going. A bit of current rolling around in here. Yeah, there's a bit of waves. Some wave action behind your head there, Captain. Yeah, they're lifting up. I'd say the tide actually still is running out a little bit. Really? It's doing four knots, so I don't think we've got flow in yet. And that's two hours after. No, three hours after the um, predicted tide. We'll see how we go once we get into the passage a bit more. But, um, so we're running with with the waves, so that's good. Yeah. You definitely wouldn't want too much to run out because these can really stand up and it gets yeah. shallow. They look like they're standing up behind you. <laughs> Australia, the very northern part, or the very northern tip, Cape York. Well done, Captain! You did it! We got there. You did it! Good afternoon, ma'am. Thanks getting back to us. Quick chat on Channel 72. Channel 72, please. Switching to 72. Over. This is Catalpa, do you have a copy? Catalpa, this is uh, 44745 on Channel 72. Thanks for getting back to us, ma'am. A few quick questions for you this afternoon. Can I have a uh, last port of call and a next port of call for you? Last port of call was Cairns and our next port of call is Thursday Island. Cairns for Thursday Island. Thanks, no further questions today. Thanks, ma'am. Uh, have a safe journey and we'll talk to you again later. Standing by on Channel 16. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Sending by 16. Over.
as we sat at the very tip of Australia, we took the time to reflect on the journey that we've had so far. We feel so very blessed to have visited the places that we've been and to have met the people that we've met along the way and what an amazing time we've had together as a family. All of this inspires us to continue our journey and we're so excited to see what the future brings. Coast of Australia was absolutely beautiful. Now let's go and see the rest of the world. So we left Cape York this morning and we are how close? We're really close to Thursday oh, Island. We're about five nautical miles off the Five entrance. nautical miles. Our friend is waiting in his boat and he can see us, so that's real close. Um, yeah, we've had a nice sail over here. It wasn't very far. It's about 10 nautical miles to the entrance of the passage we've got to go down. We're actually going to anchor over here. Yeah, we're going to anchor at Horn Island. It's not really worth showing yet. I'll show when we get closer. But we've um, had a nice sail. We're very excited. We're going to go see our friends and. Yeah. So we're very close to Thursday Island. We're coming up to Tuesday Island. Thursday Island Port Control, Thursday Island Port Control, Thursday Island Port Control. This is sailing vessel Sailing Catalpa. Do you have a copy? Over. Uh, station calling Thursday Island Port Control. Good morning. Good morning. I was just letting you know that we are going to be entering your waters soon. Um, we're just coming past Tuesday Island and Horn Island. You meant set over. Uh, sailing vessel TI port control, all understood. Uh, can I please get uh, the vessel's name again in the LOA? Over. The length, so we're 45 foot in sailing Catalpa. Our sailing vessel is called Sailing Catalpa and the length of our vessel is 45 foot. Over. Sailing Catalpa, TI Port Control, many thanks for the information. At this stage there's no traffic to affect your inbound transit. Over. Okay, thanks very much. Have a good day. Over. is at the very top of Australia. It is a part of the Torres Strait Islands.
our good friend Chris escorted us all the way into our anchorage at Horn Island. The water here is beautiful, but you don't really want to go swimming here because the water, especially around Horn Island, is home to some pretty big crocodiles. We dropped the anchor and it wasn't long before Chris had spotted one. We found a crocodile. We're gonna go check it out with the croc man himself. <laughs> so we'd been in the Torres Straits for all of half an hour and we saw our second crocodile that we'd seen along the whole east coast of Australia. It was pretty cool to see, but they scare the crap out of me. So when you're swimming up here, you've just got to be aware. Only swim where it's pretty clear so you can see, have a good look before you jump in, and you'll pretty much be fine. That's where he slid into the water, and he slid in so stealth-like and just disappeared. So after gathering most of our belongings, we hopped into Chris's boat. We headed ashore to Thursday Island where we would stay with some of our bestest friends in the whole wide world. So join us next time as we hang out with our good friends, show you some of Thursday Island to go fishing out on the reef. It all comes all thanks to you all. All thanks to y'all.